Hi, welcome back to the teaching studio here at Maryland Golf and Country Club. Um, as promised, I'm going to keep these videos rolling out. Um, I love sharing this information. Um, it's something that I literally have a passion for. So if you have any questions, please feel free to comment or reach out. Um, and I'll try to see those comments on there. I'm just now getting access to the, to the YouTube and everything. So um, what I want to touch base on, right, is something that gets a lot of play. Uh, no matter if you're a single digit, mid, high handicapper, doesn't matter what it is, you've probably encountered this or at least heard it, right? So we're going to talk about the, the over the top, right? And exactly what that, that fault is. And if you're somebody that falls in that category, the first place I would start to, to kind of help that. Okay. Uh, so first of all, let's kind of explain what this is, right? So I like to use this kind of as a line of demarcation. Uh, and this to me is kind of like what line I may be over or under, right? And that'll make more sense here in a second. So as we go through this, right, when I get up to the top of my backswing, if my arms or upper half, right, you big chested guys, the upper half usually likes to uh, run away from the body, right? That's not necessarily the fault, right? That's, what, that's what's caused by the fault. Right? And that's what makes us go over the top. Now, the true cause, I want to start my downswing right always with my lower half. Right, So and that's kind of what we've talked about in these previous videos, is I want to squat and kind of load my lower half, then allow the club to fall. Right, I don't want to force the club into a position. I want it to fall to the inside, right? Or some of you have maybe heard it called the slot. When you get to this spot, this is when I feel like I can actually swing fast, right? Now, if you try to swing fast with your arms from the very beginning, bad things happen, right? The two-way miss, you'll hit it left, you'll hit it right, you'll hit some thin, you'll hit them fat. Um, so, right, kind of goes back to what I talked about last time. We need to make sure that for you to be able to achieve this, right, it's really about what my lower half is doing in terms of where it is in the backswing, okay? Um, I'm more than happy to answer any questions you may have about this. Um, just a little tidbit. I have to generalize this information a little bit, right? And that kind of brings me to something I wanted to talk about is there's a lot of good information out there on the internet now, social media, all that stuff. And it's great that you can find that now, right? It's, it's a great way to kind of immerse yourself in the game, but you want to make sure that you're kind of minimizing the amount of voices in terms of golf instruction or golf knowledge that you're listening to, right? Because it can really cloud things up. Uh, different types of teachers have different types of theories, right? And what may work for one player uh, may not work for a different player, right? So as a PGA professional, like something that I pride myself on is we try to personalize, right, the instruction by getting to know, you know, you guys, the member. So um, it's very important to remember that that is generalized information. All well be it, it's very good information, but just be careful, okay? Uh, and if you have ever any questions, I'm here to answer anything you may need. Uh, so please don't hesitate to reach out. Uh, once again, thanks for joining me here in the studio. We'll see you next time.